I reckon keep all the funny shit in there, but hey. I'm not ready for this guy. <laughs> I'm so not ready for this guy. <laughs> so, we're just getting out of our comfort zone trying to get the intro done. <laughs> <laughs> Cold water always helps. <laughs> All right, welcome to Just Hustle. Just Hustle. We've been trying to do this intro, but, you know, we've got Luke Irwin in the house and nothing goes um, to plan when Luke's around, so... I've got a bit of anxiety, bro. Really, bro? Was that your intro? That's my intro. Let's go so a bit more hype. <laughs> let's go a bit more hype. <laughs> it's hard to go higher than what you just went, bro. Hey, like cold water in the morning. If you got any anxiety or feeling a bit off, cold water straight up. I'm going to take your advice on that one. Your dick goes about that big. <laughs> I always look down. I've got a bit of a gut recently, so like my little gut, it's like my dick hides behind the gut and it's you really know, You know we're recording, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, we're going live. Just, we're just double checking, man. We have I, know, a combo, I, know, bro. I know you've got, bro, I know you've got, I know you've got no limits, but. Well, there <laughs> is no limits say. here on Just Hustle. <laughs> Come on, bro, what's Luke, going on? Luke, mate, welcome to the show. Thank you, bro. Thanks for dropping in, man. How welcome. you been? Yeah, good, bro. Fucking, I'm sweet. How sweet? you been? Yeah. yeah, bro, good, man. Just, you know. You had awesome. a good day? Yeah, not bad, man. What'd you get up to? Ah, uh, mate, you know, usual. Usual, yeah. business, hustle. I woke up, I woke up straight on Triple X videos. Fucking rubbed one out. And then, um, oh, I feel when you rub one out straight away in the morning, <laughs> it just takes off the edge. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll take it again. I'll take your advice on that. Yeah, shit, cold shower. Rub one out in the morning, bro, you're fucking floating. Man, I'll tell you what, look, I'm not going to lie, bro. Having you on here, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. You know, I'll see you around a bit, bro. We chat. but yeah. Are we mates? I don't know. Are we at that stage yet? Are we we're in that mates, part of our bro. relationship? We're, we're mates, mates, bro. We're mates. Thanks, bro. Where's, um, where's your sidekick? Who's that? Your brother's. Flynn's here. Well, we know Flynn's there, but Flynn doesn't talk. Wes? Wes? Yeah, where's Wes? He's not my sidekick. He only comes... We only hang out when we're here, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Just been downgraded. <laughs> no, he, like, legit, yeah. We don't really hang out, like, unless we're filming and um, well, other than that, yeah. Well, he's got his own thing going on, eh? With yeah, he just does his own thing, bro. Fucking... I have a chat to him, have an yeah. argument, and then walk off. Well, at least you know, you know, next morning, back to normal. Yeah, that's it, that's bro. That's how it works, Yeah, bro. that's with brothers. You just have your argument and then... I think we had an argument the other day about... um, What was it? I was just going nuts, bro. <laughs> As you do. As you do. Oh, what was it over, Flynn? Do you remember? The dog, bro. My new is dog. That, is that that dog that you gave away? No, nah, no. Nah, he's still here. You're still trying to give it away, but Yeah, I was fucking thinking about it. I, I, said, I said to the owner, I said, yeah. I'll give you back... Keep my money... Keep yeah. the dog and I'm done. Because yeah. the cunt just keeps crying and I get upset when it cries. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, you, you do a lot of stuff like that, man. You get an idea and you just go. Yeah. You just I'll, act. Well, I was on my way to buy a TV um, and I got to Moore Park and then yeah. I, I kept driving an hour and bought a dog, a German Shepherd. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> lie. How'd you, how'd you go from a TV to a dog? Bro, that's just what happened. It happens with you a lot, man. Like, we'll be having a conversation and we're talking about one thing and then the next thing... You're buying a property or something, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going yeah. down yeah. a different road. I haven't bought a property yet, but... Um. Yeah, you're working on it. You were working on it. <laughs> we're working on it, bro. So, man, tell me, man, I've been watching you watching your hustle, and I think we actually called you out on a show a few um, few episodes back. What did you say? No, nah, like, we're just talking about, you know, who we think is out there hustling. Talking and, shit. Uh, talking shit. That's and, me, bro. And you That's came my up, show, bro. Talking Shit. If you want to go subscribe, Talking Shit on YouTube, always plug. They, they cross-promote. <laughs> There's that much promotion going on around us, bro. I might as well plug. Who the fuck is Road Pain, you, bro? We work, yeah. It's fuck Road, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got, you got your own show going on now, too. Ah, fuck my show, bro. I'm not promoting it. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, bro. So, look, I want to talk about your hustle, man. Oh, right, yeah. Because, bro, look, man, it's no secret. You're out there. You're out there, bro. You're extreme. Everything about Luke Irwin is extreme. Yeah. But. You've done something that a lot of people struggle to do. You've turned this thing into a business. You're, you're a brand in a way. Yeah. You know, because I see you get a lot of sponsorship coming on now. Yep. You know, you got, you know, Aussie tires. You we got can't, we're not going to mention on. fucking sponsors that aren't nah, fucking paying. <laughs> so we've got some sponsors coming on. Cut any names out until they're paying. Well, see, there you go. This is Luke Owen. This is the extreme stuff we're talking about. Yeah, fucking, bro. Because, bro, like, you've got, you've got a lot going on, eh? You don't mm. stop. Yeah. Bro, and that's, I think, look, you know, anyone who's out there hustling respects what you're doing, bro. And your page, 
Fuck, man, your page, I think you're about to crack a mil. Yeah, on, a on Instagram, on a Insta. million, yeah. I fucking hate followers, but <laughs> they come and go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. <laughs> well, Monday through Sunday, yo. <laughs> well, I'm not about one of them cunts that are just going to sit there and go, ah, oh, followers, this and that. I'm not a fucking dick riding no, but, cunt. No, but what you're doing, people find engaging. That's yeah. why they're following. Yeah, they yeah. hate and they love. Well, you're going to get that, but that's in anything that you're going to do. Yeah. But, bro, I want to know more about, because I remember when you started your show, we were talking about getting you on here. Mm. And you intentionally told me not to watch your show. Yeah. You said, don't watch it because, you know, you're going to talk about some stuff in there. Did you watch it? No, I, I haven't watched it. Really? you told me not to. James, have you watched it? You said, don't watch it. My interview from Vanessa, from Vanessa. on my show. Was it like your second episode? Or yeah. Something? Yeah, I watched it. Oh, really? So he knows a bit. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know. I intentionally didn't watch it because, you know... <laughs> We wanted to find out a bit more about what's going on. I'm getting fucked. Is that water or vodka? Yeah, that's no, water, bro. It's water. <laughs> All right, so you want to know about the fucking hustle. Where do you want to start, brother? I want to, I want to start with your hustle, bro. Yeah. Because, man, there are so many people asking questions about you. Really? Yeah, bro. Like, Daily Mail's all over you. Yeah, every they time, get every, fucked. They're not even that fucking good, bro. They need to get every, traction. Every time every time you do something, you're in Daily Mail. Like, yeah. you're an, actually a very intriguing character. Mm-hmm. Um, because you've you've gone from annoying the cops, yeah, prankster, doing a bit of motocross, yeah, yeah, freestyle, porn star, porn star. Which I haven't stopped. I want to I touch on that, man. Yeah, you I, can touch on a lot no, no, more. No, no, no. I just want to touch. No. On, I just want to touch on the hustle. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Because what I find interesting about this is, and a lot of people probably look at what you're doing there and think it's very full on. And it would yeah. take someone like you to actually start this movement. Yeah. A lot of people are for it. Some people aren't for it. But I actually think it's going to become the norm. Yeah. If, you know, within a year or so, it's not going to be socially unacceptable to have an OnlyFans account. Yeah. You know, and with everything that you're doing there. Everyone's looking at this now as pretty full on. But I've noticed since you started doing it, I'm seeing a lot of other sort of follow up accounts coming around yeah. where people are getting into it. It's actually becoming a thing now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to talk about. Well, I didn't see a couple on there until me and Vanessa are on there. Oh, really? That's it. So you guys were like, what, the first couple on there? Yeah, I, I could call, I, I could say One some names. Fans. I'm going to say some names. Like, no, we, we spoke straight to the owner. Of OnlyFans. Yes. And yeah. then he put us in contact and we started saying we're going to come out with this. And they go, we don't have couples doing that. Okay. And we are like, I said to Vanessa, I said, I'm not going to go into this mm -hmm. unless I'm fucking full steam ahead. Yeah. The next week I fucked a cake. <laughs> <laughs> No, like, see, like I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna start. Like, please be prepared that yeah. I'm gonna go fucking in. And they were and forward. she, bro, she didn't even show her tits on there. Yep. Now, for people, people are gonna sit here and go, ah, oh, you have no morals, you have this, you have, you don't do you, have do you, that. But you, you get a lot of that. I don't fucking read shit. Yeah, I don't read my comments. I can't read. I'm illiterate. So I fucking reply to the first five. See you later, cunts. That's yeah, it. That's it. But um, the way I look at it. Is and and, uh, and it's interesting because you can go to the beach, you yeah. see some guys' pecs, yep, and then you see a chick. They should have their tits out. It's normal, bro. What what the fuck's <laughs> different with it? It's their dick and vagina's different, but their their upper body. And this is Julia Rose says it. She says it fucking perfectly. Yep, she's not afraid to take her top off. Yep. And now Vanessa, she's the same. So, so it's got. So you guys were the first couple. Pretty much one of the first couple accounts on OnlyFans. Yeah, hundred percent. And now you guys are in like the top, not even the top one percent. You're in the top like zero point zero one. Yeah, the top, the top of fucking whatever the top is. Yeah. And it's making bank. Oh, ten bucks a month. Ten bucks a month. Yeah, yeah. Me and Vanessa <laughs> split it straight down the middle. So four fifty, four fifty, and then a dollar to marketing. Dollar to marketing. Yeah. Okay. And it goes all right. Yeah. Get nah, it. it's making bank, bro. You do the mass. But. How many subscribers would you have? I can't. That's that's that confidential. That, that's not Come out there. Man. That's not. No, nah, no. Nah, well, that's actually not not. But like ballpark, ballpark. What, what would like? Because I, I know there's guys out there. Like you see these chicks in the paper, OnlyFans account, and she's turned around. And she's making a hundred grand a month type thing. Is that all? Yeah. Well, there you go. So there oh, you go. It's ten right. bucks yeah. a month, huh? Is that yeah, all? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you got it. What is it? Ten thousand dollars for ten. So ten dollars for ten thousand is ten. Hundred thousand. Yeah, something like that. Well then, yeah, you do the do the mass. That's it. 
<laughs> All right, so we're not going to talk about the numbers side because you're going nah, to hold that back. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's yeah. Right. That's confidential. So that's confidential. I can't believe Luke Irwin's got something that's confidential. Well, that, <laughs> no, the numbers, it's not on our only. Well, all right, I'll put it here. There's 100,000 likes yeah. on the platform. Yeah. And you can see that publicly. You can go search my thing up, LukeVanessa.com. Luke I will plug that. Yeah. Um, and that has 100,000 likes. So you can see the right. engagement there. And, um, it's heavy. But we, we keep our – on OnlyFans, uh, um, it fluctuates a lot. So we'll go up, you'll have a big day where you promote. Okay. And your fans will go up, then it'll go down, go up. Now I can't promote, it's probably going down a bit. So what is that? That's based on what, new content that you put up or just social media – platforms restricted yeah media. yeah yeah so yeah. fucking yeah certain social i think all social media platforms are um just cracking down on well they they see this other platform coming through and they go nah fuck you can't they just you think, think they're intentionally blocking it from a commercial yeah. position yeah okay. and maybe the name around only fans as well like just because you actually don't put anything graphical on your social accounts i'll pull me cock on there <laughs> I know, but you took that down straight away. Yeah, five minutes. That was fucking no. If well, I that could was a, post, that was an accident, wasn't bro, it? Bro, I'm telling you, if I could post my cock right now on Instagram, yeah. I'd put it up there. You th- okay, I don't give a fuck. No, the we thing's know, a we weapon, know, bro. We know, we know that when <laughs> we, you got two hands you around it, when you got two hands around it, and it's coming out the top, bro, post it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not scared. All right, all right let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go back to the start, man. Is this so, a hustle? This is, is the hustle. Are hey. we actually talking hustle or not? This is hustle, bro. This oh, is your hustle, right. bro. This oh. is your hustle. Oh. Then, and this is the thing about the show. Not everyone's hustle everyone's going to agree with. We, yeah. had, we had AJ on you know, a few weeks back, and this guy, this guy runs adult stores. He was talking about the shitty sales, but bro, it turned out to be a, a family business and- you know, making bank. Making bank. 180 you know? so, bucks a piece. Who gives a fuck? Well, there you go. But let's go back to, bro. I want to know more about you, man. So I know you was the prankster annoying cops. Yeah. You didn't, obviously you didn't start there. You've been a menace from yeah. day one, I guess. Yeah, I've been a menace, yeah. So where'd you, where was your old stomping ground, man? Where'd you grow up? Fuck, I grew up in um, a place called Tarmor. Tarmor? Yeah. Yeah, I know Tarmor. So probably about, yeah. what is it, an hour away from Sydney, I reckon? Yeah, about yeah, that. you'd say that, yeah. M5. Yep. M5 East packed. It'll be three hours away. Nice. But yeah, yep. yeah, it's a nice little fucking bushy town out there. So what you, so what, so bro, <coughs> how, how, you of all people in mm. Tarmor, mm. I, I don't understand that. It doesn't make sense to me. What? You are way, <laughs> people in Tarmor are usually pretty relaxed. Well, they got about seven fingers usually. <laughs> <laughs> fucking their cousins, their boyfriend. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Cousins, their fucking, I don't know. Inbreds, maybe. I don't fucking know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe a few cunts from Tarm will have something to say. I don't give a fuck, but <laughs> it's like Tasmania or Sydney. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He went there. Am I allowed to say this? Mate, just, yeah, you're being yourself, bro. I don't give a want. fuck, bro. You're yeah, where, you want, you want to, where I actually started. Yeah. All right, so let's go back. So let's go back, bro. What, Little, what, was, what was your childhood like? Fucking shit. Why? Fucking, my mum had single mum, yep. um, eight kids. Come on. Yeah. Are you one of eight? Yeah. So I've met you and two, so three. There's another yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, Another five, yeah. Any of them like you? Um, I think we all got, we're all just crazy cunts. <laughs> but in a good way, I reckon, yeah. Yeah, I've got three sisters. Um, yep. Nah, they're reserved, kick back. Um, yep. My brother's... One of my brothers is a fucking menace. He's probably more crazy really? than me. Yeah, he's just a bit different. Not Wes. Nah, nah, Rhett. Rhett? Okay. Yeah, Rhett. Didn't even know you had another brother there. Nah, he's just a bit of a psycho cunt. Is, is he in Sydney or? Yeah, he's in Sydney, bro, yeah. Oh, Fuck, wow. should I be saying this? <laughs> Rhett, brother, if you're watching this, fucking mad cunt. Nah, Rhett's a good cunt. All my yep. family love him, fucking mad cunts. We grew up in a place called, so Campbelltown, Eds, all right? Yep. We grew up there. In housing commission, fucking chat as fuck. I got put in docks when I was about five. For real? Yeah, I was a little psycho cunt, bro. Ripping hair out of my head, fucking fuck. head button brick walls. Probably want my head's fucked up. <laughs> well, I'm, bro, you want to get deep? Let's chat. No, nah, bro, let's go. This, this is real, bro. Because like, <clears throat> like you're saying, man, um, you were living in housing commission. Yeah. You know, nobody wants to live in housing commission. Nah, shit. But you, you, you come from there. Yeah. And where you are now... Yeah. As extreme as you may be, you've commercialized what you're doing. <coughs> yeah. And you turn and it is intentionally or unintentionally becoming some sort of business. It's a hustle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To go from housing commission to where you're going now, yeah. and it's a good story. There's there's kids in housing commission now who think there's no way out. Well, I think they're the kids that need to fucking 
listen to this podcast and just think if everything's against you or whatever, you might be going to school with fucking shit clothes or, you know, you only got two shirts that you can yeah. wear to school. There's fucking seven days in the week you're wearing the school shirt on the weekend as well because you yeah. don't have... <laughs> you got no clothes, yeah. <laughs> fucking... Um, yeah, but those those kids, I reckon they understand the hustle more than fucking the cunts that go through private school. I've yeah. got mates that went through private school and their yeah. parents were putting fucking $500,000 into um, yep. schooling. They were getting touched up by the priests, the poor cunts, and then they, you know what I'm saying? Like Then they're fucking yeah. just digging dirt all day. Yeah, yeah. Dumb cunts. And now these little hustlers, they're the cunts that I like, little hustlers out of Housing Mission, Mount Druitt, Campbelltown, Tarmore. I was joking about that before, but that's yep. where the hustle comes from or that's the hustle that I like to watch. I well, like to watch that shit. It's relatable. You understand it. It's where you come from. Yeah, yeah. So so you were, you, so you're growing up around there, you're in Housing Commission. Yeah. And you went to docks. What was it? How did you, you end up in docks? Right, I was uncontrollable. For real? Yeah. I feel sorry for my mum too. Like she... um. Well, she was a young mum, and that's not her fault. Like, whatever goes on there goes on there. But, like, I think yep. you definitely, when you have a kid, you definitely have to be over 25 because I think you don't stop – you start learning the real shit. Yeah, it's true. You do. You, you learn later in life. It's no matter what, you can fucking have a bad upbringing or, upbringing or fucking this and that can happen. Mm-hmm. But you start really finding yourself – like around 24, I don't know, like that maturity, it's real. Like it's fucking, you yeah. start driving your car a bit different. You start like, you start observing and, and seeing I've, shit. You know I've what seen, I'm saying? I've seen how you drive your car. Yeah, but you that's. Put a, you put a big poster on the back saying, follow my OnlyFans. LukeVanessa.com, <laughs> link in bio. That's I've, seen, I've seen how you drive that's your real. car. No, no, but do, do you agree? Like you, I, you I fucking, so. you start looking at life a little bit differently. I think it's just life experience, man. The more yeah. you know, the better decisions you make, I guess. Yeah. You know, but so you. You're in docks. What happened there? You came out. You came out of docks, and then what happened? Probably went to my aunties. Where? In, in yeah, my same auntie, area? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, in the same area. How yeah. can you end up at your aunties? Not back at your. Because my aunties a fucking high class solicitor, and she goes, she had some fucking balls yeah. about her. Where my mum was a bit, you know, couldn't control me. Had a few other kids, um, and then that's where that went. So I went to my aunties. Um, probably hated that. Yeah. Hated, hated everything as a kid, bro. Why, but why? Fuck, man, legit. I just. I thought like the world was against me, probably because of my upbringing and um, and just what happened, you know. Like you, you fucking, you're fighting for your food. You're not you're not getting enough food, you know. Your mum can't provide for you, can't give you enough attention. So you, she doesn't love herself, so you can't lo- like you know she can't love her kids. So then, where, what position are you in there? You're fucking a little five, six year old fucking struggling heart. Yeah. And um, I think I was just rebelling. Like it's like. You know when kids have a their parents have a breakup and they rebel in school yep. or some yep. shit. I hear about a breakup. I'm like, cunt, a breakup. Your parents breaking up. Fucking try and go through some of the shit I've seen. I'm not saying like I've been through the worst shit, but I've seen my mum getting fucking flogged right in front oh, of me, serious. bashed. Fucking, I've I've bashed that many cunts. That it's not funny. Like You're cunts right. who would date my mum. I was fucking thirteen trying to have a go with the cunts. For real. Yeah, dog shot, bang. What? <laughs> For what reason? Just because I was hitting my like, like yeah, mom. hitting my mum, fucking doing that shit. So, oh, um, that's a hard. bit of yeah, yeah. There's a lot of trauma there in in my upbringing. Fucking, um, my house burnt down. Fucking at at some point in life, there's really? a lot of shit, bro. Like there's yeah, yeah. It's been a weird life, yeah. So this was all before what, 15, 16? Yeah, easily before 16. House burnt down at 12. Um, fucking me and Waz, we used to fucking steal like crazy, bro. Like, yeah, I think karma comes back here and there and goes cunts. Like, we used to go up to the local church. Yeah. Sunday would happen, you know, fucking they got a oh, poor box there. Real. They'd have a poor box and me and Wes, straight up Sunday, would be out the front, bang, we'd be out there racking the whole poor box. So I'd have oh, like, is, that, is that just to have some money on you? Yeah, yeah, 200 bucks or some shit. We'll be at the local school. Like 200 bucks at that age, bro. Yeah, we'd, go, we'd go, we'd go to fucking Bilo. Buy all groceries, take it home. Mum's yeah. like, "Where'd you get all this food from?" I'm like, we're, we're so fucking f- running the ball, bro. bro like, <laughs> you, I don't give you, a fuck. You really like, bro. You had to hustle from fucking just to, just to make just to eat. Yeah, yeah, straight just up. To eat. Um, we used to. I think we we're hustling. I think we we're entrepreneurs from like a young age, maybe illegally, but um, so yeah, yeah. stealing from the church. Um, 
making up fake raffle contest. So you make <laughs> up a fake thing. Say you're going to win some fucking yeah. raffle tickets. Yeah. Go around, bro. Just flip them for three bucks a raffle ticket. You got 140 bucks there, and then you fucking go and shopping with that. Yeah. Um, going to the local school, they will drop people will drop money under the school. You know the cracks in the like the. Um, the timber boards in schools, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they drop boards. money. You go under there, bro, just sussing out all the money and Still shit. Money. Yeah, bro, bro. But like this, to me, bro, this <clears> blows my mind. I'm not gonna lie to you, it blows my mind because I I know there's a world out there where people actually have to, you know, they do what they have to do to live. Yeah, and like you said, a lot of this shit is, I think, to the majority of people, don't condone it. Mm. But you did it back in the day, and you're saying now, like at 25, for example, you look at life differently. Yeah. How do you look at that now? Like um, in other words, I know you probably look at it as in you did what you had to do to survive. Yeah. But if someone came to you now and said, bro, I've got no food at home, what do I do? Fuck, do the same thing. You reckon? If they need to. What are they going to do? I'm talking That's 12. I'm yeah. talking 12, yeah. 11, Thank bro. You. We're getting yeah. away with anything. And you, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you probably didn't have anyone around you at that point of time who... Nah, no, no father figure, no one telling us this and that, no one fucking, it's just straight up. We'll, we'll probably run the muck on our mum, she had no control on us. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just that's that's just fucking, that's just what we did, bro. So fuck, bro, that's pretty extreme, man. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck, but it was <laughs> sick. I remember this one thing we used to do, bro, called an, you know how you like nickname things? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Called an... Exit run or an e ecky run, you know, it sounds like a pill, but they, they weren't called fucking eckies back then. We used to go down to the local bylo, mm. me, fucking Wes, a few other people would load up a trolley, bro, or two. Yep, we'll grab the sickest shit, you know, like fucking this is back when supermarkets had spray cans in them, yep. fucking WD 40. I don't know why we need a WD 40. Oh, don't wait, lighter WD 40, flame fryer. That's why we got that, <laughs> but um, yeah, so we'd, yeah. we'd fucking load up two, three trolleys, bro, yep, straight out the exit door and just run, bro, fucking shopping done, shopping done, bro. <laughs> Shopping done. I don't know what we're thinking. I don't know what. Like, they would have had cameras on us. They would have had fucking this and that. Did you ever get done? Uh, we got caught for, like, not them type of... Bro, we had a drug dealer in our area. Yeah. The cunt loved tuna. Straight tuna. up. Full trolley of tuna. Here you go, brother. <laughs> Ounce of weed. Fuck. <laughs> Straight up. We didn't give I've, a fuck. I've, I've never heard of that type of bothering, but... Bro, we fucking... Did he have a favourite flavour? Um, the fucking what's that? Lemon and lemon and uh, crack pepper. Crack pepper. <laughs> yeah, bro. So yellow, <laughs> yellow and green trolley, full of a uh, lemon and crack yeah, pepper. Yeah, bro. Tuna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could uh, shout him out, bro. And this is this is straight facts. Like that's why I think it's interesting in the time we're in now because I don't really create like a lot of new mates. Yeah. I've got real fucking 10 year plus mates yeah. and they're the ones, bro, they'll never come near me and go, oh, give us a tag on social media, fucking do this and that. Yep. They're just cunts that, that will just be inboxing me, bro, proud of you, like come catch up, family, yep. fucking feed, whatever. And they're the cunts that have seen the real shit, bro. Yeah, the early I've days. I've got real like like people that don't, that are not seen on my social media, that are not in my videos, yep. that have been there, like the real cunts, yeah. From the start. Yep. So, <coughs> oh fuck, that's a lot to take in, man. But I don't um, know what you want to talk about, but that's no, that's straight no, up bro, hustling bro, under twelve, bro. I just I, look, man. <laughs> look, I'll tell you what, man. I just want, if anything, what I really want to get out is the, is you know the the truth, you know. Yeah. And because um, a lot of people look at you, man, like you, you you're out there. You you know you're a very extreme character, like I've said, but no that's one knows a character, where, but no one knows where it comes from because that's the thing. I, the way I know you, like all this stuff you're telling me now, I. I think you're, man, you're, you're a pretty generous guy. Yeah. The time I've gotten to know you, you're pretty generous. You're very, very big on loyalty. Mm. You're very big on if loyalty. If anyone fucks me over loyalty, they can get fucked. Yeah, no, That's like, one bro, thing. I'm very big. <laughs> yeah, like. Bro, like, yeah, you're very big on loyalty. Yeah. And um, you don't like any bullshit. You keep it real. Yeah. So you go from, you go from <laughs> giving a drug dealer a trolley full of tuna. Yeah, that was um, early days, In bro. the early days. Yeah. And then. So how'd you get out of there? How'd you get out of Tarmor? Fuck, what happened? So um, from Tarmor, you know, you move around the area. I'm not going to yep. go into where we moved and shit, no, but we're no, in that area, area, cutting around, trying to go to school and shit. Fuck, I hated school, eh? I could imagine. School it's not for you. shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's not like, for you. I got suspended in primary school. The first day I was in primary school, yep. no, no, maybe the first week. Mm. 
just cracked a teacher, eh? <laughs> yeah. A female Why? teacher. Why? See, I wasn't Why? taught, bro. Wasn't yeah. taught. Just yeah. Bang. Yeah. Straight up suspended. See you later. Yeah. Miss Kabka, sorry, but fuck. You know, um, I was never controlled in school, got suspended, broke some cunt's arm for calling me gay, fucking yep. done all this shit. So suspended eight times in primary school, mm-hmm. um, went to multiple primary schools and then yep. went to high school. Actually stuck it out in that one high school. Yep. But it was very, high school was a weird thing, you know. I, was, I, was, I feel like, I don't know, man. Like it was like, I was trying to, I, was, I love footy, you know. I love oh, fucking idea. watching footy. I was trying to get into the footy teams. Not trying, I was in the footy teams. Trying to focus on that and then year seven, mm. you know, you, fo- you oh yeah, footy this and that next minute, weed come around. Yeah. Bang, hooked on weed. Yeah. Fuck just start, yeah. Just I don't know. Then there was a, you could you can skip part of that that part of my life from high school. So like I got kicked out in year nine. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can go from like year seven, you know, being in school, not too much going on. Yep. Skip it from like, you know, start start smoking weed to then, um, yeah. I, I don't know. Like yeah, just, yeah. It was a blur. The whole thing's a blur. No, nah, not a blur. <laughs> just selling heaps of weed. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just pushing weed. Didn't have yeah. didn't, my first job was at eighteen. So what was that? It goes from um, I was working at a carpet factory. It burnt down. Other thing burnt down. <laughs> Why does everything around you burn down? <laughs> no. no. So the house burnt down. <laughs> that was actually a fucking traumatic time in my life, bro. That that house is a. My, I still see a psychologist like every week now, yep. and that that fucking part of my life and like there, there's things that stand out in my life that were very traumatic. Yep. But, um, yeah, from, like, the weed thing, I just lived at my mates. I think I was hustling still. It's just hustling, bro. Just I, was living with, I was living with my best mate. Yeah. He was selling weed. This is a fucking hustle story. Hold on, yeah, wait. Yeah, so, yeah, I moved in with my best mate. His mum asked me for rent. I said, get fucked. I stayed there. <laughs> yeah. Then um, then he was selling weed. So I used to be the runner for him, you know, and then I would just smoke for free. Yeah. Next yeah. minute, bro, I'm living in his house. But then I took over his weed business and then he started owing me money and I'm the hustler. Oh, so I'm pushing weed out of his house. Yep. Oh, bro, you owe me a fuck. You owe me this much. Give me your iPhone. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he took your phone off you. I took the phone off oh, him. you took the phone off him. Yeah, so I started... T- this is like, that's fucking real hustle, bro. Like, that's straight up. I was in his house and then I don't, I don't fucking look at that like as being proud of it. But yeah, like that's a that's a hustle story in itself. Mm. Like your mate's selling weed, he's too lazy to go run it. He's playing Call of Duty, so I'm running it. Next minute, I start ripping buds off, mm. then get up my little fucking thing, and then I start selling from that. Start your own business. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. It's a business, bro. If, if you can sell weed, you can sell fucking any product. Weed yeah. is a product. Yeah, yeah. It's in well, high demand. It's just hey, illegal, bro. In, in California, you you know. Fucking bro, you'd be, you'd be killing it now if you're in California. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, so, <laughs> man, I can't. I got this. I'm being serious. No, 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 like, bro. I want, I want, I want, I want your story. I want yeah. your story, bro. So, all right. So you're doing that. Yeah. And then where the where do the pranks come around? Okay. How does let's, that start? Let's skip forward fucking five years. So I had a missus. Yep. Um. Just yeah. The, yeah. We can skip. I think in my other um interview Touch on lines? my on on my thing, I, I skipped a lot because. It's just, yeah, weed, selling, getting by, yep. just chilling. You just know? That, like yeah. teenage years. Yeah. Yep. Um, so we'll skip to 2016. Mm-hmm. There's a fuckload of my life there that's just missing. Just I was working, chilling, doing yeah, the just, nine to five shit, you know? Yeah, day to day shit. Um, partying a lot, doing whatever. Mm. 2016 comes around and then, um, then what happened? So I was in a full-time job mm-hmm. and I was in that mindset of the five-year plan. Yeah, you know, I started started getting loans. Started fucking. I'm in a full time job. I've got me little fucking name, name on me shirt. Yeah. You know, Luke fucking me emblem over here. I'm feeling. You know, let's go to the bank. Let's get a loan. Twenty yep. k loan comes out. Mm-hmm. Fucking why did I do that? That was stupid. Twenty k mm. bad debt, good debt. Yeah. Yep. I had bad debt. Yep. Um. So I. I loaned money. I thought, yep, I'm going to stay in this job. I'm going to keep my hustle going in there. I think I was making $950 a week, mm-hmm. working full time, slaving away, you know, five days a week, fucking working um, and then having two days free. And then... So you tried the traditional everyday sort of mm, thing. Yeah, that was my longest job. I was in that for, for one and a bit years. Yep. Longest job. But I had fuckloads of other jobs in between that mm-hmm. time. And then I, I had that. That job just stands out to me because this is where the video started. Okay. So um, so you go from had the job, 
got some loans and shit, fucking on the piss every weekend, living that life. Yep. A nine to five, proper fucking not to be living life. <laughs> and then um, this is where it gets a bit crazy. So um, I, I remember, bro, drugs, alcohol, getting on the piss, hard out. I've said yep. it about three times. Then went to work one morning and then um, fucking my, my stepdad fucking – like, my mum calls me and she's like, fuck, you know, like, Luke, she's fucking, I've never heard, like, my mum screaming like this. I'm like, what's up? And yep. she goes, goes, Kev's dead. And I'm like, fuck, like, what's up? Fuck. You know, like, my stepdad that's, like, been there for, like, probably 12 to 15 years. And he, he was okay? He was a cool guy? Yeah, bro. Like, yep. legit, like, the best guy. You know what I'm saying? And yep. um, so he was, he was, I think he was 60 or something, you know, and just mm. had a heart attack, fucking... Um, I remember I just left work. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm out. See you later. Fucking went. Sh- I beat the ambulance to the house, bro. Like, I was yeah. fucking pumping it there. And, um, and and I think from that point, I'm not going to – because in my um, my video, I went really deep into that. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. But um, that, that, was a, that was a turning point. Mm. That was when I was like, fuck, what's up, you know? Um, and we had his funeral, we'd done that stuff. I stayed in my house, I stayed in my room for like three months, bro. Like, I don't get, I don't really let shit get me down, but that fucking hammered me. Yeah, because you were saying, like, back in the day, you had guys there who were treating yeah. your mum pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and this he, guy comes along and he was a good guy. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So, so he, when that happened, I was just like, like, whoa, cunt, you know, like, this, yeah. that, it was just like the, the biggest change that could ever happen. I started, always had to be around people, always had to fucking, you know, go with people. And, and I remember I just, I just three months in my room, <clears throat> just fucking downtime, yep. reflecting. Became, probably, yeah, probably become sober. Like, not, I wasn't fucking addicted to heroin. I just got off the drink, started getting my mind right. And, um, and then, then what happened, bro? Fuck. I remember, I remember it was like January... January and I just said to Flynn, I said, "Yo, bro, I've got a camera. I think I, I think I rid off a car, and yep. then they paid the bank paid me out. Mm-hmm. So I started just putting my money into like I, I watched Gary V and shit. That's what I done, bro. So, so Gary V actually got you out of the room and so I was. Shit. It's interesting. I was watching. I was I was in the room, fucking depressed. I got I got a road bike tributed yep. to Kev. Rode that a lot of lot like fucking New Year's Eve went to um. This is a standout thing as well. I went to um, New Year's Eve 2016. I went into the Hard Bridge on my own. Okay. Just on my bike. Just fucking, you know, just flat came, stick, yeah. bro. You know, just I've still got GoPro clips from it. Yep. I was just flying in there and then just done that on my own. And then I think January 6th come around. So the new year had happened. Yep. And then I said to Flynn, let's go, bro. I've got a camera. Let's go. Let's some stuff. Let's get some shit. I never knew what YouTube was and that. I never was into it. They were all into it. Yep. I wasn't into it. Didn't fucking know. As soon as I found YouTube mm. and I started watching like Casey Neistat, Wes was always like, he was in this different mindset. I'm like, bro, how are you in this mindset and shit? What, like the creative stuff? Yeah, like and just, just the mindset of like he had this he had this company, Ripper Co. And I remember I was working full time. He's like, bro, you want to chuck into it and become part owners? I'm like, yeah, bro, let's go. Yeah. And um and I was and I just started watching like Gary V and a, a, a few yeah. other people, and I just went, like, I got to do some shit. Yeah. And my impulsive behavior went, fuck this, I'm going to buy a lawnmower. Yeah, why a mower? <laughs> I spent four. I, f- I spent fourteen hundred on a lawn mower, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna work, mum. Yep. Go mow some lawns. You, you sent your mum to mow lawns. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't do it. Yeah, I had this. I had this. My, I had this thing, and I'm like, I've got to get out of this full time fucking thing. You just wanted to go hustle hard. Yeah, I okay. want to do something different, like Gary V talks. Bro, look, you know? the, the whole mower thing works, man. Look at Jim. Jim. Jim's bro, an empire. Bro, right now, bro, bro so. mowing like. Like and just getting a Ute, getting a fucking cheap Holden Rodeo, getting a fucking mower, yeah. go go around, present yourself, be presentable. It's a business. That's it. So you did that? Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had the idea in my head. Yeah. I bought the mower. Yeah. Oh, I bought a good mower, bro. Like whipper snipper, yeah. fucking everything, bro. You do that, bro. Everything you buy, you make sure it's. Yeah, I always it's get the, top the good of the range, shit. Yeah, bro. yeah. Okay, you do that. I always go to the top of the fucking just get the shit. Yep. Um. So I got the mower. 
I think this story might be a bit all over the place. No, I don't no, know. No, it's, bro, I don't it's, know. We're actually keeping track. It's all good. Are we? Yeah, yeah, we're keeping all right, track. So we're going from fucking. So you got so you got the mower. You're motivated by Gary V. Yep. I'm just thinking everything's making money. What can I do? But I'm still in this lockdown, in this nine to five. Yep. And I'm like, what do I do? And then fucking. I said to Flynn, let's go to Kayama one day, January 6, 2017 it would have been. I go, let's go. And we went down there. It was the most awkward vlog. We showed people Kayama blowhole. Okay. <laughs> you told me about this. You, that's yeah. why you're saying you're like a human map. You know every spot. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You all this um, yeah. like touristy type Yeah, I've done all adventures, bro. Yeah, so I went, yeah. I went fucking Flynn. Flynn had the biggest understanding about YouTube. Like yeah. you hit up Flynn about any YouTuber. He knows it all. Yeah. Um, and I'm sitting there like, bro, this is going to be sick. And I remember this cunt took tw- took like four or five days mm. to edit a 10-minute video. Oh, wow. I can do a 10-minute video in two hours now. Yep. So this cunt was taking the piss for a few years there. Yeah, um, yeah. Nah, nah. He, uh, like Flynn's been – Flynn just gets everything for free. He just kicks back, bro, because he's been there since the start. Yep. And so we had done eight episodes of – I don't know what the fuck it was called, but it was Ky- blowhole and just yeah, random things like that. Yeah, fucking Wentworth Falls, all adventures. Didn't go anywhere. It, it's fucking like your podcast, bro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, yeah, brother. I'm joking. Know, I'm joking. So <laughs> we went to, in the middle of this, guys, if you watch watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post <laughs> notifications to Just Hustle. I reckon you need to go one a week, two a week, bro. Working on it, bro. Working Let's on get it. it. Let's see. We're getting it happening, bro. We're getting it happening. Um, We're hustling it. Yeah, you've got it. Let's um, just hustle. So we went from, we went from eight episodes of that. Yep. And then we went. Wes, Wes goes, bro. Go to the city. Mm-hmm. No, no. I'm gonna come to the city and yep. sell a bull ant to the public. Okay. I said, all right. Let's go. I had no bull ant. I'm like, like I had nothing, bro. I bought these mics, yep. lapeled up, ready to go. Selling bull ants, and I just remember I uploaded to Facebook, bang. It just went. It went big. Like, it went, like, I think, 100K or some shit. Very okay. quickly. It went, well, I don't know exactly the views, and I don't know, like, like, but it went, it went it fucking, went, it, went it went all solid. Enough. And then I was still going to work. I'm waiting for the weekend to come around, so I've done that video. Next weekend, I'm like, fuck this. I'm going to mow people's lawns yep. without them knowing. And you started doing it. Oh, so I used the mower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got, at least you got use out of it. Fucking use the mower, four million views. Oh, shit. Yeah, viral. What, just mowing lawns? Well, mowing lawns with people. We, they weren't even that- there. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't there. Well, so were they, were they, I haven't seen these videos. Were they coming out sort of losing their shit? Or? Yeah, one of them lost their shit. Um, <laughs> and you put that one up naturally. Yeah, I yeah. put that one up and then like we just mowed lawns and, and the concept of mowing people's lawns without them knowing, it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I can't actually, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't get Imagine, it. all right, so you've yeah. got your house. Yeah. You've got your lawn that needs to be mowed out the front. Some random cunt comes and mows it, takes off. What are you doing? Yeah, you're, you're freaking out trying That's to figure it. out what's happened. You're yeah. sharing that video to some cunt, yeah. for sure, going, fuck, look at this shit. That's my house. Yeah, yeah, that's You know right. what I'm saying? This cunt right. fucking mowed me lawn. What a legend, so bro. Is that, is that what really got you going on the social stuff? Um, So that... So it was so it was that, and then... Yeah, that that's that's when I, I went, fuck this, I'm doing this shit. You're doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. And then... um, yep. But I didn't know there was money in it. I didn't no, know I, there was I money. I don't think back then there was... Really, any money in it? It was like a. There's always been money in YouTube, but yeah. in, on certain platforms, like, and everyone said, "Don't fucking go on Facebook. Don't do this. Don't do that." And I said, "Fuck you. I don't listen to cunts. Yeah. I done my shit." So, which so what was the post that really blew you up? Was it the the silly salmon thing? Um, I'd have to say, bro. Like, so I didn't collab with anyone for a year or two. So just, I didn't collab, bro. So you fucking. Just, so you were just doing random shit? Just doing my own shit. So, yeah. no, no. The thing that blew me up, bro, yep. was Best Boxer. Best Boxer? Yeah, Best I, Boxer I in Sydney. One. Number one boxer, bro. I can take on anyone. That's it. <laughs> yeah, well... So I used to walk around with boxing gloves. Yeah. And it was... I stunted it smart because it was... Um, it was when Floyd Mayweather and McGregor were fighting. Yeah, yeah. So everyone was talking about boxing. That's right, yeah. I come along and just boxed every cunt. So you got about what, 100 fights in two days. Oh, really? Yeah, just boxing cunts. So you got on the trend? Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, bro. I didn't even know I was doing it, but I got on the trend yeah. and I fucking just, that's what happened. And well, and where did it sort of blow for you? On Facebook, IG? Yeah, for, or on, on everything kind of thing, yeah. 
and yeah, that just and, and that took you what 50,000 60,000 followers I, I got to 100,000 very quick on Facebook yep. um, YouTube went went also the same yep. my Instagram was I've got two little interesting stories about that so mm. number one was I remember I was always on 10k I was near 10k and I'm like boy shout me out everyone I was hustling bro yep. like Stan Nova cunts for shout outs kind of thing yep. fucking abusing them give me shout outs cunt got to 10k and then I, I went live on, on Instagram with uh, the McGregor and Mayweather fight. Best $50 ever spent. So I went live yeah. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And back then, you could get in a top live. Yep. So I'm just this cunt, just chilling, you know, ten under 10K. Can't yep. do swipe ups or anything. Went live on um, the fucking McGregor and Mayweather fight. Bullshit. Bang, bro, trending. 60K viewers. So on my Instagram in. live, so I got 10,000 followers off that 60K. So I went to oh, 20K. Wow. So you tuned into so you tuned into the fight and what, just broadcasted it? Broadcast live. on my live, and back then it was so different, and Everyone. it went into a top trending live with 60,000 yeah. viewers. And every cunt's going, who's this Luke Earl cunt? I'm saying funny shit behind it. Where's and that are going, oh, fuck, bro, this is... Uh, oh, 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 like we're all in the lounge room going, cunt, this is crazy, bro. <laughs> my followers are just going, like 10,000 followers on Instagram? They're organically, awesome. like they're there? It just yeah. went. And that's that, the thing. Organically is not easy to do. That's it. That's yeah. what happened. And then... Then the next week, DEFCON was on, the music festival. You went live with that? No, no, I went there. Yeah. The whole time, I didn't need, I was just listening to music, fuck on caps, fucking photos with every cunt. Yeah. That's it, photos, bro. Grew another 10,000. There you go, I'm up to 30,000, 25,000. Yep. Then from there, I started doing the um, handing out beers to tradies. i seen that, actually. That was so I started cool. getting warm. Yeah, yeah. I used to buy, bro, I don't know. Fuck all money, you know. You live fucking thousand dollars in your bank account. I remember when I used to always say I've got to have a thousand bucks in my bank account, like yep. just for safety. Yeah. Now I fucking blow that, like blow that pretty quickly. Yeah, we know. Um, <laughs> so no, but that was my mindset. So I had to grab fifty bucks out of the thousand. So I was on nine fifty. I was risking it, not making no money anywhere, and I fucking went and bought a case of beers to hand out. Yep. And I was just like, fuck this. And they're just going around giving them out the trade. Giving out beers, bro. And, and who was who was recording? Flynn. Flynn was just following Flynn you around. Flynn number recording. one, bro. Flynn number one. He was there, bro. Yep. Fucking getting cut, bro. I, I become like I don't like to say this, but like a lot of people like go on a show or like grow on Instagram with their ass and shit. Like yep. I've got like I do have like you know you, you've seen it. We walk through Parramatta. Yeah, yeah you can walk through Parramatta with some bitch that's on a million followers. Yeah, I don't give it. You know that. They don't have that type of thing about them where yeah. I have that. You've you've got you've got a base there that they're actually like they they they're a core following. They yeah. actually like what you're doing. Yeah. They see. They know you're out there. They know you're a larrikin. You're yeah. a larrikin through and through. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, and they they love it. Like you're right. We walked through Parramatta about a month ago. Yeah. We stopped ten times for pictures and yeah. Everyone has a laugh. Like yeah. it's it's not bad energy. If some oh. wants to fight, I'll punch on with them as well. But yeah, no, no, we don't want to do, going, we don't want to do that. But we'll just. <laughs> They'll be going best boxer. They'll be going, oh, silly salmon. They'll be going, fucking, where's the beers to the tradies? You know, I was fucking, I, I made that fucking, no yeah. cunt was giving out beers, bro. That was me. No cunt was boxing in public. That was me. Yeah. Sounds cocky, but fuck, I took it on. So, at what, <laughs> so at what point did it go like too far where the cops started getting involved? Oh, fuck the cops, bro. <laughs> So we're skipping, we won't skip past, we'll, we'll go from me being independent yep. to my first collab. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Jackson. Yeah. Jackson, we'll talk and me and Jackson, he's going, bro, you're doing numbers. So you guys just, what, you guys met because you were both sort of blowing up socially? No, or no, no he was massive, privately? bro. He was massive. Okay, he was massive. He was massive right. and he inboxed me, he goes, bro, you're fucking, your numbers and shit. Solid. It's at 43 minutes. Do you want to cut it or? Nah, let's go, bro. No, we'll keep rolling. Um, so, yep. so we're at, um, what was I saying? So Jackson... Jackson had messaged me. He goes, bro, your numbers are fucking good, man. Yeah. And I never knew about shares and shit. I never knew about like, there's so much behind the scenes of social media that I'm not going to splurt out and fucking. Yeah. But there's there's a network. There's a strong, you boys would know it. Like, yeah, yeah, But yeah. there's there's some shit going on in the background where if you want to grow, you can grow. If you've got money, you can grow. If you can do some shit, you can grow. You can grow. Me, I was just out there running the ball, as Key would say, yeah. and just fucking going, bro. Like yeah. I, I was every... Minute I could get the film, let's go, Flynn. Let's fucking... For some reason, bro, I had no money, but I had my own driver. 
Yeah. I had a driver just come on Chrysler. He was in the kid like, remember that cunt? I'm not yeah. going to say his name, yeah. but fucking that's another hustle, bro. I had a driver picking Driving us up. Yeah. Nice. I need the rock up, you know, get in the car after boxing every cunt. <laughs> I'm going, yeah. so, so, so we'll go. So I've done the boxing. I've done 10 episodes. Yep. I think I've done 10 million views overall of that. Wow. Okay. Now back then I was like, cunt, this is sick. Now the beer, so I started getting addicted to the millions of views. We need to hit in the millions, not the hundreds of thousands, yeah, just, the bro, millions. You keep, you keep leveling up. You got to keep going. So then we went to the beers and that was just like, we need a million overnight. Yeah. So we'll go a million overnight. And I remember that was fucking like, yeah, we're doing that shit, bro. It was like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Um, and me and Flynn are like, cunt, like, this is sick, you know. Like, we built something, like, we're just like, yes, cunt. Yeah. And then I found out about the background network with the share for shares on bigger pages and shit. Yeah. People aren't doing that anymore, eh? No, because it, 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 it really fucking damages your page and yeah. whatever else. But back then, bro, you get yeah. a share off a massive page. Yeah. I can say this now and, like, people would... Back then, if I said it, they'd be like, why are you fucking... Why are you giving that out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, so you could get a share off Fortify... Yep. They're on 14 million, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've got to put their product in and then they fucking reshare your shit. That's right. So all these big cunts are going, bro, you're not doing share for shares. You're getting fucking a million, five million views. That's the thing. Your, your, your followers are very like, they're in. They're yeah. Well, yeah. Well, every Sunday. So for a mm. year, and cons- that's where I believe consistency, bro, like always. And I think I've yeah. got complacent now, but consistency built what I done mm-hmm. so every Sunday Put there needed up. to be a video yeah. yeah if there was no video this cunt was getting fucking hammered bro like I was mm. going nuts at this cunt yeah. there was no no video so you're just smashing it every week bro, consistent every oh. week we had a fucking viral bro and we knew yeah. it like viral Sunday night the cunts were there it was it was a different kind of vibe to now I don't, I don't know what goes on now I'm just lazy and a porn star but <laughs> but back then bro I actually really yeah. enjoyed it yeah, yeah. I remember f- getting fucking when people ask me for photos and shit. I'm like, can't this is. I remember started, my first yeah. photo and shit, bro. Like, yeah. So, so that's where it went. So we'll go from. So, we'll, so you went from there and you started doing the collabs. So my first collab was Jackson. Yeah. Now you could call him. I don't know. If we're, we're not on the fucking best terms at the moment. Fuck the cunt. <laughs> um, but yeah. in all in all respect, he's a yeah. part of my story and a big part as well. Mm. And I'll tell the cunt that as well. I'll say fuck the cunt as well. Yeah, but you guys have that sort of banter between you anyway. Oh, not on the best terms, but... You'll fix it. Yeah. Well, um, fix it. So, <laughs> so he's... So we... I remember, bro. Like, I remember the first day I met him. I met him at Hurricanes at um, Darling yeah. Harbour. I was going to say not Brighton, bro, because nah, I just they, shut that place yeah, down. Yeah, they got Corona beers <laughs> at there. I just shut that down. Fuck coronavirus. <laughs> um, so we've got... Yeah. We've met at Hurricanes. Yeah. And this law of attraction shit happened. I remember sitting there... Flynn was there, a few of the other boys. And, and I remember saying, like, imagine jumping off that bridge. And it started. No, nah, no, nah, two months later, yeah. Jackson's like, I've got this idea. Silly salmon, silly salmon, silly salmon. I'm like, cunt, that's a, that's a weird shit, bro. Like, silly salmon sounds shit, gay. What are you yep. on about? Yep. Next minute, bro, we filmed six clips. Yep. And that just, that just went fucking... Exploded. That, like, Jackson was like, cunt. Like, I remember getting a call on the way home. He was living in Penrith at the time. Yep. And I was living in Campbelltown. That's an hour drive. He'd called me by the time going, cunt. Like, we uploaded it. He's like, bro, this is this is going next level. Yeah. And then, when, but before we got home, he's like, bro, you don't even understand what's about to happen. Mm. Bro, my Facebook page went from like 100K to like 500K overnight. Wow. So like straight up, like, and that's all organic, like that's. Oh, that's real, bro. Like there was no, like I, I know, like yeah, that that was some yeah. real fucking shit there, and then, so that happened, and then me and Jackson knew, bro, we were on the sun. Yeah, we've done sixty five million views in a week, on the first silly salmon, and I don't think I think Jackson was going can't let's go let's go and I'm going. Pop. Fuck, this is crazy, bro. You I, know, I, like, I didn't know what this silly salmon thing was. And then yeah. I think some we well, were together and someone called you out on it. Yeah. Silly salmon. And I asked you what it was. I didn't even know. Yeah, that's what crazy. The you don't was. know what it was because. Because I, I knew you was like the prankster, like the guy that was sort of, you know, picking on the cops a little bit type thing. Yeah. I didn't know you with this whole silly salmon thing. And yeah. 
When I looked at it, yeah, bro, that fucking thing went viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not on some pages, it's not up and shit, but I just remember it just fucking someone else reposted it and tagged us. And my, my page quickly went to like near a million or just under it. Yep. And, um, and I just remember Silly Salmon Part 2, Silly Salmon Part 3. You just went with it. It just, it was just like, fuck, man, the biggest thing. Like, yep. like, bro, you, you, like, like Ellen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She put us on our show. Like, she you fucking... You on Ellen, that's right. Oh, I didn't go personally on it, but she's like, these boys, you know, like... You're doing silly like salmon. silly salmon. It's like, when you're on Ellen, bro, some type of... Distri- some kind of respect yeah, from some older ladies come out in the... Like, like, oh, Luke, you're on Ellen and shit. I was like, fucking what? Can't, like, Ellen... Um, yeah, it, was, it went big, bro. bro. Getting on Ellen's massive. Like, that's... Yeah. it's It, it went... I, I could say the series is over a billion views. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, on all platforms, probably. a billion views, easy. And Jackson's in, he's in LA now or something. I yeah, he's doing socials. his thing. Yeah, he's doing his thing. But from that part, like from working with him there, I think that's when I start. That's when the money started coming in. Yeah, what's well, that? The monetization on Facebook and stuff. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just fucking yeah. brand deals. I had one brand deal that was just the fucking the best. Um, it's gone now, but fuck, man, like that shit was yeah. amazing. Um, monetization, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, it all just happened like that. Yep. And from there, um, yeah, like, I, I don't know, like I and just blew just, up. I just sort of blew up there. And then, so the whole thing with the cops. When one second, when, before you go from there, so I was yeah. on about five, 600K on uh, Facebook within a week. Yep. Then I went, it was New Year's Eve this next year, you know, like we're going from like my stepdad to the next year. So a year later. 2018? 2017, I reckon. I've I've always gone on a bender for two weeks. You know, from (laughs) fucking Christmas, from Christmas to New Year's, I'm on a straight bender. You're gone. And I remember I posted the Silly Salmon. Yep. Went viral on my Instagram, bro. So I went from 25,000 followers to 170,000 organic on Instagram. And I'm on just racking, fucking pissing up this and that, you know, just fucking off me head. Wes going, bro, bro, you're blowing up, you're blowing up. Just fucking snails going everywhere, you know, this and that. I I wish I could have that blow up on Instagram again back because, fuck, man, that was some big shit. Yeah. So, (laughs) hopefully this year you don't get on one of those benders. No, no, I'm sober. Because you're sober now. Sober from February. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Well, Seb- February 10th, that's fucking, that's a few months. Yeah? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I love it. Yeah. Doing good. <laughs> so, Do you want to have a break? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going for it. <laughs> so, all right. So, you finish that whole New Year thing. Yeah. Where does, so, I want to touch on this cop thing. This is a big turning point for you. All right. So, you're getting, so, what happened So, with what, cop? are you skipping, do you want the story? Because there's how, still, the, the story how, still how continues. You, Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's I go. I don't know, bro. <laughs> like, what do you want? No, no, no. I want. I want the story. I want the okay, story. Okay, so you so. go from there. You go I'm from just, that I'm exci- bender. I'm excited to get to this cop situation because that's where you really started blowing up publicly, like nah. on the news. I seen you on the current affair or something. That wasn't uh, the silly salmon's a blow up. Now yeah. you go from that bender. Yeah. I finish the bender, and then I'm like, <laughs> Flynn went on holidays. So, so I'm blowing up, bro. I'm blowing up. Flynn goes, I'm going on holidays. So I said, so Flynn fucked you up. Loyalty, loyalty yep. went. I said, "Fuck, see you later, Flynn." Wes, Wes, what's yep. going on, brother? Yep. And Wes, bro, he's got this fucking vision, man. He is a ve- he is very creative, bro. He's as soon as creative. as soon as he touches something, bro, it just it yep. blew up. So I went. So he was working with this cunt, and then they they whatever happened there. I said, Wes, yep. I, I got some money coming in. You know, let's let's get let's go YouTube. Okay. Okay. Let's fucking go YouTube, bro. Yep. Let's let's create this thing. Me and Wes created this thing, bro. Mm-hmm. And that just went massive. Is this the shit down in the city and stuff where you... Nah, nah, that's fucking... That's, see, this is... It's crazy, bro. Like, the last yeah. five years have been so crazy and the ups, ups and downs and shit. So, I'll cut it... I'll, I'll get to your police yeah, thing quickly. So, yeah. with Wes, worked with him for a year on YouTube and I become a YouTuber. Yeah, you'd yeah. call me a YouTuber. Well, that guy called you that the other day when we were out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. that's where I got my YouTube, which I wasn't a YouTuber before then. I was just uh-huh. doing these little prank bullshit Pranks videos. I become a YouTuber. You know, I started making a connection with the camera and fucking the audience behind it. Yep. Wes's vision was strongly behind that. Then, then what happened? So, fucking ups and downs, demonetized here, fucked up here, fucked up here, whatever. Then. 
we skip forward. We want to make bank. We go, me and Wes teamed up and we go, bro, am I missing something? No, no. Am I missing like a bit there or not? Um, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just thinking because like the story, it just seems so. Weird so, what's the stuff that you're putting on YouTube? Was all that stuff walking around the city spraying people and all this nah, stuff? No, bro, no, no. What nah. were you putting so on? So, it was, it was vlogs, man. Like, it was like me just being a menace. In, okay, all right. And just, I love them times. Yeah, it was sick. All right, so we go from fuck, yep. I'm losing my train of thought and shit, eh? Nah, you're right, mate. I think, I think you've done pretty well so far. It's a big story, man. You've done a lot. Yeah, you've done a lot. So where starts visionary? Yeah, got yeah. This so, idea. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm trying to think, bro. I'm trying to think because we can cut this out, eh? Edit, edit. This nah, no, out. we're raw. <laughs> You're we're not raw. raw. You edit this out. No, nah, we're raw, bro. Oh, this won't get up. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think. So you're going from um, yep, YouTube. <laughs> Let's come back to it. Let's come back to it. We'll come yeah, back go, to you. We'll go, come go. back to you. No, they'll come back to you. So how do you end up with Wes Downtown spraying people's necks? All right, so we skip a few on years. We we'll skip that. a few years. Fuck, it probably went on another bender. Yeah. It <laughs> seems fuck like it. it's blanked out. Yeah, probably a bender. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think I've done an Australian tour and shit. Yeah, fuck, done a bit of DJing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dropped some songs and shit in between there. I heard that Gucci Louie. Yeah, Gucci, Gucci Louie song. D. Yeah. Bitch got the zone up all my jeans. Um, so we go from there and then me and Wes, he comes back to working with me. Yep. So and you and Wes had a break for a bit. Yeah, and then we targeted yep. Facebook. Monetizing on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, bro. And we went, like when, when me and Wes started working together there, it was first up, I peanut buttered his car. Yep. Went viral. <laughs> then, then the sneezing, the fucking blind man prank. That was good. Stepping I liked the over, prank, yeah. stepping, uh, stepping over the invisible rope, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, I think, like, all that, that was, that was at least, f like, f yeah, that was big numbers. I think James done some numbers on that. Yeah, yeah some numbers. That was some that. big numbers. So that was fucking, that that happened, and then... Um, so how'd you, what did you get on the news for? Which prank oh, got you on the news? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go from that, and then we started bringing yep. out the air horn, making cunts The air death. horn, that's right. <laughs> so you, you started doing the air horn thing Yeah yep, And yep. you ended up on What was it Channel 7 or something yeah, fuck Channel 7 bro <laughs> Channel 9 mics are very nice Compared to Channel 7 So You've seen enough of them Yeah that was probably my The silly salmon I was on the news for all that And then yep. I went So when I air horn some cunt I remember we uploaded the video Went mm -hmm. viral I think he got embarrassed Yep And then um, He sued you or something Did he? Yeah, he fucking, he went, he, he had some deaf shit in his ear, whatever. I he don't sued know. you or charged you? I don't know you if I can say too much, eh? Well, no, it's, no, it's, no. You know, like, yeah, yeah he, so his ear got fucked up. Yep. And then, yeah. um, yep. so his ear got, his ear was fucking messed up. Is that, is, that all, is that all solved now? Yeah, yeah, the cops call me, they go, look, fucking you and your brother, see you in the cop station soon. Fucking got arrested for mm -hmm. ABH, whatever the fuck it is. Yep. And then got put on bail for that. Mm-hmm. And then I got a bit money hungry. I was like, oh, we can go and fucking spray some cunts with water. Yep. Bang, seven assault charges on bail. Really? Really? So that whole, I'm not going to go too much into it, yeah, but yeah. that, that, um, the, the end of last year, mm -hmm. that went, um, it just went, landed me in jail. Yeah. See, and that's all, that's the part I want to touch on because for you, this was, this is, this is actually a really big thing. Um, so you actually end up in jail. Yeah. And, all this shit sort of, you know, just accumulated over time. You end up in there and, like, from what you were telling me, you got thrown straight in the deep end. Yeah. Yeah. It was fucking scary, you wanna, bro. You want to touch on that? Yeah. Well, pretty much it went from pranking to fucking, you know, not knowing my limits. And I could have probably said, I always, oh, I will say this, jail was a blessing in disguise. So I went from pranks to top, making, you know, like, 50, yep. 60K a month, fucking big, like good money. Like I, I, I was fucking enjoying life. I was racking cocaine. Yep. I was having some fun. You fucking, I think yeah, you yeah. met me around that yeah, time. Yeah, I met you around that time. Yeah. I was out of control, like just partying, doing whatever the fuck I wanted. Like yep. like every weekend was like, Full like on. crazy. Um, and then ended up having a, well, I could say a mental breakdown. I remember one day I had a mental breakdown in the car and then, you know, and fucking depression, anxiety and shit. It's oh, a serious thing. Yeah. Yeah, fucking, that, that, that happens. And if anyone, just a message, if anyone's watching this as well, if you're fucking dealing with that shit, go get some help. Like, I'll be serious in this part of the interview. Um, go get help and there is help out there. 
But fucking for me, I just went nuts, bro. Yeah, you, like, bro. You, one week was a mental breakdown and in hospital, no one knows. Then the next week, it was like straight to jail. Fuck. So I went from like living up, up the top of the fucking Meriton to in a jail cell within a day. And and that I think that's the biggest wake up call, bro. I don't know how you, I can't really explain jail. Like it's like I'm not fucking proud. It's a disgusting place. Like I I, I I'm fucking traumatized. Like by the experience of, you know, it's legit. Like the people that belong there, and I I, I probably belong there for that point of time. Like God probably fucking guided me to go cunt. You, here you go. Need to slow down. Yeah, slow the fuck down. Yeah. Um, so at that point I had about six weeks and oh, everyone will comment, oh, you think you've done jail and shit? Shut up, you junkie cunt. Um, <laughs> anyway, I've done yeah. six weeks in there. Yep. And that was just a wake-up call, bro. Like that was – I come out and I just slowed down. Because that actually unintentionally sort of detoxed you. Mm. Like you got all this shit out of your body. Yeah. Yeah, drinking, cocaine. Because you, you, don't, you don't do nothing now. No, nah, I don't. I don't fucking. I don't even. I don't smoke weed. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't drink, bro. Me, and my mate went away. Me, Flynn, and my other mate went away to Newcastle. He drunk, bro, and I didn't touch. I didn't drink. It's not like when we've been out a few times. Yeah. I've, sometimes I forget. Like, bro, we'll grab a drink, and you're yeah. like, no, 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 you're not gonna have one, are you? Like, yeah. it's, and it would have yeah. been me, like, like it actually. One of my mates I went away with was a bad influence, bro. Like, yeah. he'll be like, yeah, let's fucking. He won't be like, oh yeah, proud of you. He'll be like, come on, bro, you pussy, you know. Yeah. Said nah, fuck that shit. You know, like bro, but you actually, you actually are a lot. I see you're a lot more happier this yeah, way. You are. Yeah. You seem a lot more happier. Before yeah. you looked, at, before you looked like you were actually challenging, like those yeah. things challenging inside of you. But now you look like you're, you're in control. Yeah, it's good. Mm. You know, alcohol's you a bad thing, bro. I don't yeah. think it takes like people say. Oh yeah, I didn't drink this week or two weeks. Mm. I think alcohol. You can have a hangover and then you can have a come down, but. I, I truly believe the come down just off alcohol is a month. Yeah. If I it's so. if it's in your if it, if you, a month after you'll see your mind start to it blurs and then mm-hmm. once you become clear in your mind, mm-hmm. then you start succeeding again. Yep. Now I know I come out of jail and done only fans, but that business wouldn't have become excess, as successful as it did if you were still down the other road. Yeah, bro. Yep. Like you got to have some fucking. No self doubt, which people on alcohol doubt yeah. themselves. Because, bro, I noticed, and I remember in our first meeting, yeah, we actually had this guy, and I called it, didn't I? Yeah, I called you'd it. You spoke into reality, can't you? yeah, bro. Like, I actually, like, I called it. I looked at it and I said, man, like, you know, what happens if you go away? Because <laughs> you saw that you look like you had so much energy. You still got the same energy level now, but I find your energy now is a lot more controlled and directed in a better place. Yeah. You're doing a lot more stuff. You're doing OnlyFans, which takes a lot of energy. But doesn't really. <laughs> Five minute clip, bro. Get me cock out. It's all right. Um, but so you come. All right. So because this is interesting, because you come out. You come out of jail. You're sober. You're clean. And then you, this idea comes around for OnlyFans. Yeah. Which would probably seem like your craziest idea yet, but there was logic and an idea behind it, and you turned it into a you know, into a business. Yeah. So. How, how's that come around? Where do OnlyFans come around from? Fuck. So, five. So, before jail, me and Vanessa went shopping for undies. Yep. Because we've got to shoot in some good, lo- like, she's got to be in lingerie, I've got to be in undies. Yep. The fucking undies stayed in my car the whole time that I was in jail. So, this is where Jackson called me out on his story, <laughs> and I was like, cunt, what the fuck you want about? Like, yep. so a- after jail, me and Jackson had a phone call, and he's like, I'm going to start OnlyFans. And I don't say my ideas, I, I keep quiet. I yeah. can the people around me know I was starting OnlyFans before jail. Okay. Yeah. And there's a big long story behind that, but I just didn't like the fact that this cunt was publicly calling me out on his story he, saying that I copied him and shit. Because you guys had this beef like about a month ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and um like he says it's for clout and shit. I don't give a fuck about followers. I don't give a fuck. But I'm not that invested in my following, my views, but I chuck shit out left, right and centre. Some cunts are so worried about posting once a day and if it performs, it gets deleted and shit. But I do whatever the fuck I want. Like, that's see, it. Bro. Like the, other day you, always, the other day you were painting. Yeah, I'm a painter, <laughs> You're bro. You're a painter now. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. That's it. I'm well, not that, that, that's your thing. That's your brain. I'm not emotionally yeah. invested in my followers and shit. Yep. And when Jackson calls me out that many times, three days in a row, 
I mm-hmm. said, fuck this cunt. And yeah. I could probably... Ex- I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go too much into it. Yeah, it's all right. But I told the cunt to shut his mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, and I retaliated against him. Yep. Because he... The thing is, is that he's around a group of people that are fucking dick riders. Yeah. Now, I'm not a dick rider. Never have been, never will be. I'll do my thing. I'll let you know how it is. If you, if you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell any cunt how it is, all right? Yep. And I told him how it was, and that's it. Mm. So I fucking, me and my missus started OnlyFans, and then he called me out for copying him. I said, get fucked, cunt. That's it. But yeah, <laughs> where are we going with that? No, no, no. We're just broke. So... You- so now you're just only so I fans. got out. So I got out of I got out of jail. Started only fans. Yep. Um, me and Vanessa, we fucking blew up on it. You could say. I've seen that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We. I said to her. I said, and she she's a ball runner, bro. Like mm. She like you know like we're in a relationship. There's a lot of yep. fucking there's down times and up times, but like with the business side of shit, she's a complete ball runner. Like yeah, yeah. legit. Like works like. No other, and it's weird to say, but like, you, you know how a relationship comes about and you start arguing and shit? Yep. Bro, if, I don't know if you can release this on the podcast, but I'm going <laughs> to say it on the podcast. Yeah. Sometimes, like, I wish we were best friends. Yeah. Because she legit understands, like, the fucking hustle, bro. Of, of like, just getting out there and Everything, bro. Like, everything. Like, when I met her, and maybe... You know, because I, I hate arguing with someone that like you ca- you care about them. You yeah, you, you, do you actually you actually don't. You don't like arguing with people. Nah, you don't and not 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 arguing with people that you care about heaps and stuff yeah. like that. But legit, like she is a fucking definition of a ball runner in like what the hustle of like finding shit out, doing like yeah, getting everything yeah. down. You, you've told yeah. me that many times. You yeah, said yeah. she's like she's she runs the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, like I, yeah, like she'll tell me to post, and I'm like, I don't know how to. <laughs> you don't know how to I'm post. just collecting the bank, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, like we're both dead set. Fucking, we both networked, marketed that business of OnlyFans. You know yeah. how much it's made, yeah, yeah. and it wouldn't have happened with anyone else like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, from this, we just progressed. Would, would you guys be what their biggest page in Australia on OnlyFans? Oh, there's. I'm. Um, I'm not going to address someone's name, but like, yep. there's, like, I'd love stats to come out because yep. our top. We we analysed and learn about people. Like, so we subscribe to about twenty accounts because you guys we watched that. them, bro. Yeah, you guys like you guys actually know your shit. Yeah, like that's what people don't realize. It's not just you know Luke and Vanessa getting up there and just having you know having fun making content. Yeah, you actually know this. You know your shit on everything think, that you do. Uh, uh, other than arguments, which I have with your misses. Like, the other talk is just legit strategy, business. Yep. Fucking, it doesn't stop, bro. Mm. So we're just like, we're, today we're like, oh, we should do this. We, we're sending ideas to each other. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, bro. Like, and I've never, that's why I think I connected with her so much because yeah. the the hustle of that is like, whoa. Like, she's yeah, sending bro. me ideas. She's I'm sending her ideas and it's just like, fuck. Just going hard at it. Yeah, it's fucking mad. So you so how many months have you, have you guys been doing like three months four months now? Uh, since fans? March March eighteenth yeah March yeah. eighteenth yeah and it's still just sort of blowing up month on month just yeah growing. yeah it keeps growing um there's we're gonna drop some uh this afternoon we actually had a conversation about the next move on and how yep. we're gonna attack that um but do you cop do you cop slack like when you're out you get you get someone giving you shit about it nah no. Nah, the people you a lot of people sit online and, and read my comments and go, oh yeah, like w- what you got to learn with online is there's a thousand comments, yep. there's eight hundred good comments, and the top comments get liked because the negative cunts like and and they okay. got time to to feed that negative comment. Yep. So you might go through my posts and you'll see two hundred top like uh, two hundred comments up the top that are negative. Yeah, they're just fucking loser cunts. Suddenly just they're there. liked. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um. But no, like in in person, I don't I don't think I've ever met a hater, eh? Well, no. not when I've been with you, we haven't. No. Every, everyone, bro, everyone jumps in for a pick. They love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I remember one cunt where um he got in my face, and I I just I don't know. Some people don't realise, and I just like I flicked his nose real quick. Yeah, you know, like I just yeah. I just let him know, like I'm over here, and I got your nose. I said, yeah. got your nose, cunt. 
And then he fucking and then you go, oh, yeah, I'm six foot eight. Like I'm gonna fuck. No, you're me. short, bro. You're very short. No, yeah. but it's it's like <laughs> like this one cunt. No, what he done? He fucking. I'm I'm getting my keys cut and he come up and like hit me on the back. Yep. I'm like cunt. You don't like, especially. I've just explained my upbringing, bro. Mm. There's been a lot of fights. Yeah, There's you just been a lot around, of, You just turn around and crack him, right? Like yeah. I'm like, what's up, cunt? You know, my missus yeah. is there. You want to fucking let's mix it up? Yeah. And I and I tapped him on the nose, you know, let him know that I'm right near him. Mm. And um, yeah, but that's that's a hater. But yeah, I don't really meet haters, bro. No, it's good, bro. So, yeah. like all in all, man, from where you where you come from to where you are now, yeah, you saw the. I'm just you, chilling, bro. You're you are very chilled, but. I know you take your shit seriously too. Yeah. Like I've seen the chilled side of you and I know when you're serious about something as well. Like obviously, you know, your rubbering's taken you to where you are today. Yeah. Bro, if there's anyone out there, because this whole social media thing, I think for every, I think for everyone out there, no one's ignoring their social media page anymore. Yeah. Man, like I see guys out there just coming up with content, motivational shit or just gimmicky stuff and everyone's trying to, everyone takes their, their social media seriously now. Yeah, and bro, if anyone's cop, you know, hate and slack and shit for some of the stuff that's going around, it's you've been there. You end yeah. up on the news for it. I love it. I know you. I love, love it. the hate, bro. I know you love if it. If I'm not getting hate, I'm losing. That's it. <laughs> like, well, fuck. Well, all PR is good PR. Yeah, but that's it, bro. Bro, like for you, anyone out there who's out there trying to blow up their page, like. How seriously do you take the negativity? Should they be taking it seriously or just nah, fucking ignore bro, it, throw if it out the if window? If anyone's invested in that shit, yeah. fuck it off, bro. Just fuck it off and focus Fuck on that. It. We're, we're here, bro. I'm me. You're you. Yeah. This yeah, cunt yeah. over here that's trying to blow up, he's him. Fuck him. Girls, if they're watching another girl fucking yeah. do whatever to their photos or worrying about that, fuck that bitch. <laughs> if the other guy, if you're comparing yourself to this cunt, fuck yeah. him. Don't worry about anything. Don't Just worry do your about. Own, let them comment. Let them do. You know, the first cunts that are going to hate is the people that are closest to you. Yeah, of course. Yep. Um, Which is sad. The second cunts are going to hate is your area that you grew up in because mm. they think they know you. Yep. Fuck them cunts. Mm. Fuck every cunt, bro. I'm buying Mercedes vans. I'm fucking buying houses. I'm fucking getting my dick out. I'm fucking <laughs> me, and my missus, and other like. Yeah, who cares? You want you, you want my be, serious you have, thing? You have to be you, bro. You have to be you. Yeah, you yeah, want yeah. my serious thing, bro. Do not fucking worry about some negative cunt sitting in his mum's basement whacking his dick on porn up three times a day. <laughs> Because who is that cunt, bro? He's waiting for his yeah. Centrelink payment to come in. Fuck him. No, you're out there hustling, bro. You're doing your thing. Fuck him. Luke, love having you on, man. I can That's chat right. to you forever, bro. We're going to do a right. follow-up. Um, yeah. We're going to see how long this stays online for, but, you know, we'll bro, give it a crack, bro. YouTube won't <laughs> take this down. Just try and not monetize it. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's your boy, Luke L23. That's it, bro. bro that was a sick in, podcast, bro. eh? Catch we'll, do, we'll follow up. I, like, I can't stop laughing every time these guys are around, man. I just... That's it, bro. Luke, thanks for coming in. Flynn, as always, thanks for saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs>